Seam repair. What a nightmare. Please come close and show the folks at home this issue here. Now, what kind of wool covering is this? This is paper. It's essentially wool paper. Okay? And there are different approaches depending on the wool covering we're dealing with. So, since we're dealing with paper, what would you think is the best way to get stubborn paper to lay down? Come on, what do you do when your shirt is all wrinkled up like this? You know what you do. You take one of these, and you do that. Well, we're going to do the same thing to paper. Since it's mostly paper, not all, we can expect that we'll get this paper to at least do this for us in order that we nail it down. Let's try it. Let's discuss why this happened. Can you zoom in on this, please? Let's examine the problem so that you don't go through this yourself. Come close. Does everybody see this line here in the wall? It seemed benign, right? But what it is, is a penetration in the substrate with the installer's knife. So he took his knife, but he penetrated the wall. And if he went too far, he created a space in the worst place imaginable, right behind the scene. If you were going to have a space behind your wall covering, would you want it here? Or would you want it at your seam? A space behind the seam diminishes the solidity of the wallpaper structure. Let's face it, the wall, the glue, and the wallpaper become one, become solid. Press on your wallpaper at home. It's as hard as your wall is because it's all one. Now cut a space behind your seam and here's what you get. Come closer that they can hear this. Por favor, venga cerca la pared. Yo quiero que ellos escuchen. I'm exaggerating, but essentially, that's what you're going to get. When you cut through the wall, you create an air pocket. If you go deep enough, and the glue is no longer attached to just the substrate, it can't get into that slice. And so we have air. And so when the walls behind and the doors open and close create air gusts, what do you think happens? Over two, three or four years, the air pushes out and compromises the adhesion of the wall covering to the substrate. And so we're going to wet it down. We're going to make it humid. Shh. I want, I want to see this. Look what happens when I wet this. Come in close. Venga cerca. Now, isn't that a lot more pliable than what we were dealing with initially? It's too dry to work with.
In order to glue wallpaper to the wall, it has to be wet, right? You have to wet the glue, you have to wet the backing with the glue, and then the glue, when it's sufficiently wet the paper, then you can install it. It's called booking, right? Well, if it's not wet and you go to install it right away, this would happen to you. It's not going to stick. So we're trying to manipulate back into position stubborn paper simply by saturating it. Here's why. You want to get the paper sufficiently wet so that when you put in the special glue, the liquid in the glue doesn't get sucked into the paper, compromising its tackiness and its strength. So we're filling the fibers of the wall covering with water so that we can put glue in there and so that the glue won't be sucked into the paper and then not be sticky enough. It's a really... You do this elsewhere in other things. You know when you get a nice cold beer at a place, they give you a cup that's frozen? Why is that? So that the temperature of the cold beer isn't affected by the warm glass. It's the same idea. You might say, why not just use water? It's not the same thing. This is hot. This is steaming hot. Okay, let's see. That's really hot. It's a great tool too. Okay, what I'm using is a product from Roman. It's called Extreme Tech. I call it special glue on my videos because it's easy to say that to my helpers. Special glue, go get the special glue. And so they understand that. We can shut that off. It only takes two minutes to get it all nice and hot again. You don't want to skimp on the glue. You can always wipe it off.
So all they're doing is simulating reinstalling the wall covering. A lot of times you folks at home try to fix this and you panic. You put in glue. It didn't work. Let's simulate the installation. The product has to be wet, right? How long do we let wallpaper stay wet before we install? At least three minutes. But usually five to seven minutes. Average wallpaper. Now, we've made the back of the wall covering sticky, we've made the substrate sticky, and now we're going to give this a little setup time, and then we're going to introduce another glue when this is nice and dry and sticky. And we can expect that the next step will have a nice seam where it's all back to normal. The, the sides of the wall covering are now sufficiently wet. And so we're going to use a product that's on the market that wasn't made for wallpaper initially, but it will hold down mostly anything. You could actually use anything in here that isn't going to damage the wall covering outside. As long as you can keep it in the seam, you can use anything on the market without discoloring it, of course. You don't want to discolor the front of it. So, we wet it down with hot water, steam, and then we used extreme tack. We're going to wait till this gets tacky and dry sufficiently where we can stick in, right in the seam only, right against the wall, this super glue. See me on part two to see how you repair your wallpaper seams. Okay.